Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? How are you doing? I just wanted to come live today, being Heal Talk Tuesday, and literally asking, how do you feel? It's Heal Talk. So let's talk about healing. Let's talk about some kind of a transformation. Let's talk with you. Um, this is Lisa Bubari. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Lisa Bubari, uh, clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. Actually, someone just labeled me something different and they said, you are a, a coach and everything else is tools that you use. And I'm like, yes, hypnosis is a tool, stress management is a tool, anger management is a tool. So everything in life is a tool. It's like I'm having dinner, utilizing the utensils as the tools. So um, how are you doing on this beautiful day? If you are anywhere in the Los Angeles area, it's such a gorgeous day, the sun is up, and so good to be grateful, right? Gratefulness. Um, I got an email. Actually, um, I was talking to a friend of mine, a colleague, and they said, um, will you talk about uh, breaking habits this time? So I want to know, how do you break habits? So yesterday I had a client for Stop Smoking. As you know, uh, hypnosis is one of the best ways to help stop smoking. Uh, not quit because we are conditioned and we learn that we don't want to be considered quitters. So we never quit doing anything, right? Um, we stop. Just like when you come to a stop sign, you don't quit the accelerator, you stop the car by putting your foot on the brake. So yes, yesterday I had a client who came in for stop smoking and uh, lost the train of thought of what was I going to talk about? Yes, he came for stop smoking. Oh, yes, uh, he came and said uh, he does not want to um, stop smoking today, but he will in few days. Wow. In an hour and a half, we were sitting together and doing some guided visualization and hypnosis and everything. He opens his eyes and says, but I have to give myself permission to do this, right? And I'm going, you mean the hypnosis part? He says, no, to stop the smoking. And it's like, of course, you are here because you want to stop smoking. He says, not now. Next time I come, I will stop. But this time, I wanted to know how this works. And he, you know what he said? He said, I can't stand people who quit smoking turkey, like quit cold turkey. Well, you know, I love listening to clients. Hi, Mark, how are you? Um, you know what I love listening to clients for? Because they literally do the therapy part and help me help them. You know, that saying with Tom Cruise, help me help you, right? So what he did was literally help me, giving me the words so I can help him with his words of what he wants. What he said was, I wanted to know what this is all about. So he went into deep state of hypnosis. But right as I was talking about the affirmations about the non-smoker, he opens his eyes and says, not yet. So in a way, hypnosis is an internal process. But as I've said many, many times, the conscious and the subconscious have to come to an agreement because I have absolutely no control over my clients or I can't force them to do the things they want. The client is always in control. Even in hypnosis, he opens his eyes and says, not yet, next time. 
So by saying that, I said, being a man of your words, let's shake hands. And he shook my hand. And you know, by shaking hand, it's like that honor system because where he comes from, I know that uh, he stands by his words and that honor system means a lot. And I bet you anything, next time, he will honor and do so. He will honor his word. Because there is nothing more powerful than self-pride. Can you relate to that? Give me an emoji if you can relate this. Hi, Alvart. How are you? Um, Mark, does your word, your the promise that you make to someone else, matter to you? Do you stand by the promises that you make? And so many people, they have a hard time uh, keeping the promises to themselves. But when they make a promise to someone else, it's much harder to break because we feel a sense of not only ownership, but a responsibility not to put someone else down, for them not to feel bad, and for us to look good. So we keep our word. And the question that was, how do we break habits? Well, I like to say, first we have to acknowledge that we have a habit that is no longer conducive to what we want. That's the first thing. It's recognition and acknowledgement. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the hearts, Mark. So once we acknowledge there is a habit that we want to break, um, then we put together a plan. Either we call a therapist, we call a friend, we call someone, or we put a plan together and say, what is it that I want to break this for? You see, the bigger picture always, always, always. If I do not have this in my life, what is that spot, that hole, or what am I going to replace this with? And not necessarily with something, but let's say if I stop smoking today, which I did many years ago, but if a client turns around and says, I'm ready to stop smoking. Well, it's for my health. I made a promise to my children, my wife, or something like that. Or my doctor told me I have to stop. When we stop doing something, that means there is something far greater that we want in our life. It could be health. It could be, I want to exercise instead of breathing heavily, or I want to have the opportunity to do something far greater. And that has to be far better. You see, we break habits for in two forms. One, the pain is so bad that we no longer want to feel this um, negativity, this uh, pain or this bad feeling that we have it or nagging from someone else. <laughs> That's, that can be painful. That can ruin a relationship every time there's an argument, every time there is a fight over something like that or someone says, oh, please keep to yourself. So in a way, if we feel as if we are being um, devalued, dissed, we're not being appreciated for who we are because of our negative habits, right? So the second one is because the reward, once he stops smoking, the reward is far greater. His kids are not hugging him because he's got the beard and everything and the cigarette, the smell of the cigarettes is all around his mustache and his beard and everything. So his two daughters just don't want to be coddled by daddy. And that, guess what? Pains him. It pains him that the children are not allowing him to kiss and cuddle with them. That he has to go and wash and do all this before he kisses his 11 year old daughter that is so powerful because we all want to feel loved 
Yes, it matters. Keep my promise. I was raised that way. Amen. Hello, Usha. Hello, my dear Usha. How are you? We're talking about how we break habits. And breaking habits is two ways. Either the reward is far greater than where we are or the pain is so bad that we no longer want to feel this pain. So thank you for the hearts and everyone. And that's what that's what's gonna help my client and anyone else to break habits. So recognition, recognizing that this is no longer beneficial to me. It's not only harming me physically or it's harming me more emotionally. I don't feel the love and the basic needs and wants of us, love. We want to be loved. We want to be appreciated. We want to be hugged. If we could only hug our loved ones every single day before we walk out, either we say, I love you, or just a hug and a kiss, you know? Because that's the last thing we walk out with. What a beautiful way to feel cuddled and loved. Most people hug their animals and pets more than they hug their family members. So today, I want you to make an effort. If you are not a huggy, touchy person, granted, there are so many who are not. But if you could, if you were living with someone, make an effort to once a week or twice a week, bring this, uh, to, even if it is just to hug or say, you know what, I appreciate you. Bring this positive loving, not only positive affirmations, but bring one step, 5% more love and appreciation for that person. No matter how much you get upset from the outside and outside world stresses you you walk in and you are huffing and puffing and complaining about your day complaining about the boss or something like that you sit and you say you know what i appreciate this i appreciate us now here's another way you can also stop break a habit no matter what habit you have, once you put it down, you take a log and you write all the positive benefits you receive from that and all the negative benefits, the negatives, <laughs> negative benefits. In a way, even the benefit of something negative is a benefit that is giving you, right? So write down all the things you receive, even though it's negative. Let me give you another example. Every time you do something, it pains you, it hurts you, but you feel as if you're getting something out of it, right? And that in itself is something to write about. So another client, I'll give you an example. Since, um, since his father's death, he did not have a good relationship with his sister. But because of the things that are happening with him, having all this anxieties and everything, he's reached out uh, to family members. And the sister has come asking how she can be of help. Believe it or not, in the last two weeks, him and his sister have had more dialogue than years because the sister wants to help him. And because he feels he needs help, he's allowing help because there is nothing wrong for all of us to ask for help, right? I ask for help for certain things in my life that I am not able to do. I'm not a tech person, so I hire people who do all the techie stuff. I, uh, I need 
a lot of things that I hire people and bring professionals. I invest in myself by hiring the best to help me be the best that I am. Does that make sense? So in a way, my clients coming to me for me to help them recognizing, acknowledging, which is evoking and then embracing and the reality of where they are so that they can evolve to what it is that they want to be. I do the same thing. So hello, Tomasia. How are you? Hi, Sanas. How are you, dear? Uh, how do you break habits? I've been talking about breaking habits and how to do this. So thirdly, by realizing this negative thing that he has this anxiety and everything has brought something beautiful in his life it has united him with his sister so this negative anxiety that ha has come now he's seeing the benefits believe it or not it's like the biggest thing that has happened for him and then by seeing the benefits of his anxiety, he can say, now that I have a better relationship with my sister, I no longer need to hold on to this anxiety, but I can help nurture my relationship with my sister on a more positive way, on a better way, instead of this excuse, he didn't know it was an excuse, but now he no longer needs the anxiety for them to have a dialogue. Bang! Whew. What a relief it is, right? And that's what I meant. By certain habits that we keep on, we hold on, we hold on to the blames and the shames and the guilt and all that. Once we see how it has helped us, we can easily let it go. Here's another one. <clears throat> I want you to break the habit by recognizing, keeping a log, right? Do it over and over. Do the same thing, a new routine. Change your routines, change your patterns 33 consecutive days. Not one day, not two days, 33 consecutive days and you build on this positivity even if you revert back to a habit instead of blaming yourself or feeling bad say i drop it and i start again a new system a new pattern and believe it or not i want you to build on that positivity eventually it's going to click. Eventually, it will sink in. And the eventually of sinking in because becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. Whereas a habit used to take long time, when we do it over and over, this part of our subconscious says, maybe there's something to this. I like this pattern better. So we get to do a new pattern more often and that my dear is the success I want you to build on by the way remember I've been talking about my heel within with my logo bracelets do you know how much this bracelet is helping without recognizing first and foremost just saying heal within and then when i give this to them and i say use this with your affirmation card because the affirmations that we use let me bring the affirmation card in case you haven't seen it i want to show you. this affirmation yes with my logo but the affirmation in the back it says begin your transformation by repeating the entire thing three times, which is every day in every way. I accept and appreciate myself far more deeply 
than ever before. So as you are doing this, you are saying the affirmations. And I have a sound mind, a loving heart, and a strong body. See, I know my affirmations that I wrote and I give you. I evoke and release the past, which is now a history. I accept and embrace the here and now, which is my reality. And I evolve to the perfect image of me, which is what I want to create. I matter. And when you do this three times in a row, you are reaffirming not only with words, by doing so, and it becomes a part of your finger, which is the thumb and every aspect of you, a part of your hand, that the hand is what? I can handle this. And when you do this, it's like, saying to yourself, embedding it physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, I matter. And then you put it in the palm of your hand. And for one moment, as you hold on to it with your eyes closed, knowing that you do matter and you put it back on your hand, all the affirmations stay with you. It's as if this energy of what you say, it gets to be a part of you. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Sedadran. I accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before. I matter. Yes, Mark. And then as we hold on to it, I like to change and uh, match my colors of what I do and what I wear every time. I have about eight different uh, ones. You can go to my website, uh, healwithin.com backslash shop, and all the bracelets are there. My three books are there. Also, uh, the audio recordings, I have 12 audio recordings that truly, I'm not a salesperson, but I want to share this because it is helping my clients and I want you to benefit, truly benefit and become better. Change your habits and everything. So if you cannot sleep better, you can listen to the insomnia recording. And I bet you anything in three days, you can sleep better. If you are suffering or someone you know is suffering by, through cancer, I have a CD that is called Healing Cocoon. And they can listen to that and feel as if cocooning and healing from within. And one of my bracelets is the Rose Quartz that it can be so beneficial because it's all about love. And the green one it's all about heart. So yes, it's not so much the bracelets and the colors of the bracelets and everything. Let me bring it to you. Oh, I love the bracelets. So all these bracelets, all of them, they are all on my website. So I want you to Go and take a look, read which one uh, resonates more with you because it's all about you. It's not about me telling you which one is right. It's about you seeing which one do you want and whatever it is that you gravitate towards, that's the right one. And it doesn't matter if you gravitate to this one. This is so multicolored. I love this one. And I like wearing them. And so changing a habit is this, bringing a smile to you and for you to realize you can handle it. You have a choice. We don't change patterns or habits because of someone else. We do it for ourselves. 
you know, everything they sell, they say. It's not about this. This can be worth 10 cents, but if it helps you, it's worth a million. That's it. A pen, if I were to give a pen to someone, if they don't need it, it doesn't matter. But if someone wants to sign a contract or sign a check at that very moment and they're looking and someone hands them the pen, that's worth a lot. You know? And that's everything in our life. Its value is when you want it, you desire it. No one can force us to change any habit. But when you do it, recognize it, shift patterns, do your affirmations, maybe even listen to my audio recordings, you put the log together and you repeat it 33 days in a row and create a new habit for your subconscious mind. And when that happens, you go, yes, I did it. That I did it is telling that younger version of you, I can do this. You know, that's how Nike came up with it. Check mark. One more off my list. Just do it. So, hello, Sally. How are you? And how have you changed a habit? Amen, amen, Mark. Hi, Vicky. How are you doing? How do you heal within? How have you changed patterns? I would love to know. Please share with me. If you had a habit, how did you change the habit for the better? Maybe even who helped you change that pattern? And how do you feel now that you have overcome a habit that you no longer have or you used to? Okay. I would love to hear from you, all of you. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, I did it. Yes, you did it, Mark. And you have done it many times. So for all of you being here, being present, thank you for being here. And I heard a beautiful saying just the other day. And let me quote that. Yes. And it was magic of a mind. There is no reality in the absence of observation. And when we think about that, reality, reality is what we make it because our reality may not be the same as someone else. So when we find ourselves with a good support system and then we are on the right path, we feel proud for ourselves and valued by ourselves. And this is not being self-centered because that client of mine, once he stops smoking and his daughter kisses him, that's a million dollars. That is a million dollars. Life is short. Let's compound and add value to this incredible life that we live on Mother Earth. So thank you. God's blessings with you. And hit the subscribe button at the below right here. I don't know if I'm pointing it at the right place, but there's a sub subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, we're going to be on YouTube every week I come live. And all this information is on YouTube. Thank you for being here. And follow me every day I go live and I talk about a quote. And let's do this. Let's all come together to heal within. Until next week, 
God bless you. Truly, God bless you. And may the universal light be with you.